Hello, welcome to our lesson on understanding subtracting integers. We're going to use number lines, we're going to use temperature, and we're going to understand how to subtract positive and negative numbers. Let's get into it. Today we're going to have a short lesson about what it is, lots of practice, and one application question at the end. Time for our lesson. I want to sh first show you, like I do at the beginning of most videos about integers, just some examples of integers so that we're all on the same page and we know what we're talking about when it comes to integers. Integers are positive and negative numbers, like the examples you see here. This is a number line, which we're going to be using as a tool throughout this lesson. If you start at the point zero, numbers on the right of zero are positive. So 6, for example, would be located here, and it's on the right of 0. Negative numbers are on the left of 0. So the number negative 6 would be located over here. When we add, we are joining numbers together. Adding doesn't always make a number bigger. It joins together two numbers. Here's an example of addition that we might be familiar with, 5 plus 2. So we would start with 5, add 2 more, and we would get 7. On the number line, this is what it would look like. 5 plus 2 is 7. This works the same way for adding positive and negative numbers, including all integers. So if I start with the number 3, my arrow would look like this, and then I add negative 9, it would go in the opposite direction, or towards the left, and we would end up at the point negative 6. If you have more positives than negatives, your answer is positive. If you have more negatives than positives, your answer will be negative. That's some background knowledge that we need to know before we go into subtracting integers. So I apologize that we have spent this much time and we haven't even talked about subtracting, but I think once we get into it, you're going to find why we spent that time. So let's talk about subtracting. Subtracting integers would look kind of like this. 10 minus 4. So we'll start with 10, and we'll go back 4, and we end on the point 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. Subtracting, or taking away from a number, moves the number left on the number line. So we had 10, and we took away 4. That's what subtracting is. If adding is joining together, subtracting is taking away. That's just some vocabulary, so we're all on the same page. Is there another way that we can write this same exact problem other than 10 minus 4? Think about that for a second. Remember everything we've talked about, especially the stuff we talked about adding at the beginning. What do you think? Did you come up with adding a negative? This could be written as 10 plus negative 4. On the number line, it would look like this, 10 plus negative 4. Does that look familiar? Because it is. It's exactly the same problem. It gets exactly the same result, and it's color-coded exactly the same way. It's almost like I meant to do that. So here's an example where we can see a subtraction question can be written as adding the opposite. Or instead of subtracting positive 4, we're adding negative 4. And you might say to yourself, Mr. Buffington, you have just made the question look more complicated. Why would you do that? And there is a good reason for that, I promise. I wouldn't make things more complicated just to make things more complicated. I'm not one of those teachers. You know the kind. Let's practice this even though I know it's a little bit more complicated. Try it out. I know you can do this. Just go through this one here, humor me, and you'll see why it makes sense in just a second. I want you to rewrite the expression 5 minus 2 using addition. Pause the video, try it out. 5 minus 2, I want you to rewrite it as an addition question. Go. Welcome back. On the number line, it would look like this, 5 minus 2 equals 3. And we know 5 minus 2 equals 3, and that's simple way to write it. But that's not what I asked you to do. I asked you to rewrite it using addition. So here's what it would look like with addition. 5 plus negative 2. Notice we changed the minus to addition. And instead of subtracting positive 2, we're going to add the opposite of that. 
So we're going to add negative 2. It does the exact same thing. It looks the same on the number line. It gives you the same answer. We have just rewritten the expression using addition. And trust me, this will become easier. And you'll see the purpose of it in just a bit. But first, I want us to practice again, making it a little bit more complicated, but I promise you it will work out. Rewrite this expression, 4 minus 8, using addition. Go for it. Did you do it? I hope you did. It's just watching me do it's not going to help you nearly as much as like you doing it on your own and trying it out. An exercise of the brain. Let's go for it. 4 minus 8. Well, we'd start out with 4, we'd subtract 8, and that would leave us at the point negative 4. So now we're getting into some negative answers. A little bit more complicated than what we did before. But again, that's not what we're doing. We're not trying to solve the expression. We're trying to rewrite it using addition. So instead of 4 minus 8, we would write 4 plus negative 8. Again, adding the opposite. So instead of subtracting positive 8, we are adding negative 8. And we would get the same exact result. Now, I'm going to give you an example that actually makes sense. An example where your life becomes easier because of doing it this way. And if you've done the practice up to this point, you're going to thank yourself for doing it. In fact, tell yourself thank you right now. Let's get started. I want you to rewrite this expression using addition. The expression is 5 minus negative 2. Let me show you on the number line what this would look like, even though it's really hard to show you on a number line what this looks like. That would be 5. And then taking away a negative 2 is kind of like that. It's like it's negative, but I'm taking it away. So I'm instead of taking it away, I'm, I'm taking away a negative. It's complicated. So um, I'm just going to write that it goes to there. 5 minus negative 2 will give you 7. You're taking away a negative. In other words, you're, you're making the number larger. It's sort of weird, but just work with me here. Now, this is when life becomes amazing. If we were to rewrite 5 minus negative 2, it would look like this. 5 plus positive 2. Remember, we're changing the negative to positive, or the subtraction to addition, and we're changing the number, negative 2, to its opposite, positive 2. That's why we do it, because adding the opposite is the same thing as subtracting. So instead of writing 5 minus negative 2, if we know the rules for adding opposites, we can just do 5 plus 2, which makes a whole lot more sense. And that's where this makes our lives easier, because 5 plus 2 is 7. I want you to simplify this expression by rewriting it using addition. Simplify your life using math. Three, two, one, go for it. Welcome back. One minus negative three, it would look like that on a number line, but it doesn't make sense on a number line to minus a negative. So we're going to rewrite the entire thing as three or one plus three. We change the subtraction to addition. We change the number, negative 3, into its opposite, positive 3. And it becomes 1 plus 3, which is 4. Makes a whole lot more sense to write it out this way. Nice job. Now we're going to do an application type question. It is 5 degrees outside. If the temperature drops 4 degrees, how can we write that as an addition expression? Ooh. There's a tough question. Write it as an addition expression that our temperature is dropping 4 degrees. Try that out. 3, 2, 1, go. The way I'm going to model this question is first I'm going to write it as a subtraction expression. Then I'm going to add the opposite to make it into an addition expression. Watch how I do that. Maybe this is the same way that you did it. I started out with 5 degrees, and it dropped 4 degrees. That's 5 minus 4, which is 1. 
In this case, probably simpler to just leave it that way. But the question didn't ask you to do what was simple. The question asked you to write it as an addition expression. So we're going to change it to an addition expression that would look like this. 5 plus negative 4, adding the opposite. And 5 plus negative 4 gives us 1. There we go. We just learned that subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So things to remember from today's lesson, subtraction is adding the opposite. That's the thing that you want to learn. That's the thing you want to take away. I hope that all that practice, especially at the beginning, that seemed a little tedious, was helpful when we got to the end. Have a wonderful day.